<laughs> Let's play! Whoa! Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. You all may call me Pharaoh, and welcome to another stream of Destroy All Humans. I didn't really think uh, I had to play this game again, but the final boss has been kicking my butt like crazy. Uh, I I didn't I didn't rage quit per se in the last stream at the ending there, but I, I was I was getting tired and I'm like just screw it I'm not doing this anymore. It's the next day. I actually um off screen I did grind a little bit to fully upgrade my disintegrator ray. I got the full uh, skate, which is infinite skate now. Um. What else did I do? I think I upgraded some some other stuff, like capacity for the ion detonator. So I feel I'm feeling a little bit better about this. But I'm still worried, honestly, but we'll we'll do our best. Simple as that. And um I took care of the because I had because I had to shut off the game, I had to redo the whole mission, which included defeating the Robo Prez. Uh Literally took me one try, so uh, I, I just didn't feel like having to show that to you guys since you guys already saw it. So now we gotta fight Silhouette one more time. And let's hope to God this goes smoothly because I do not want to fight her again or lose to her and do it all over again. So, here we go. So, so here's the infinite skate. And that was the, uh... That was the Sangre Array fully upgraded. See how it, like, goes in, like, two... What, three bursts now? There you go. So hopefully this goes well. Yeah, I grind off stream... Off stream, uh... A little bit, yes. Crap, 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 crap. Yeah, that move sucks. Like, I absolutely hate when she does that move because it's like you have to be careful. Um, If she raises up to the ground, she will destroy you. Simple as that. Man, I feel like I'm about to die right now. I'm just waiting. Okay. Crap, 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 crap. Was I not in the force field there? Crap, 
crap, crap, crap, no. Damn, did he actually say effing water? That was new. And now for... Oh, I'm gonna get hurt really bad. That was bad. Like, you have to be careful when she does that move. You, if you see her flying up in the air, you need to destroy her. Crap. I'm pretty sure that... I'm pretty sure that hurts her shields. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Okay. Damn it all. Damn it all. Damn it all. Damn it all. <sighs> Thought I had it there. Um. Hmm. Try to think what else I can do to make this a little bit better here. Um. Man. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe I have to start using like that that ion detonator, cause like it's in our last phase. Maybe I should just drop the drop them on her to get rid of the shields quicker. I don't know, but we gotta do this again. I really do wish there were checkpoints here. I really, really do. You find Ah, she doesn't go down to hitting zero HP. I mean, she has three phases, so that's the reason why she doesn't like go down. And hello, Grim, by the way. Welcome to the stream.
should be popping over here. <laughs> Dear gosh, he just zooms. damage. Actually, you know what? Just to kind of get those guys out of the way. There. Okay, I'll almost. Yeah, and then when these guys, when they spawn, it's probably just good to get rid of them now. Oh, but see, that's BS. That sucked. She sent out the homing thing as I was taking care of the other guys. go. I did it. You beat me. I can't believe you actually beat me. They never do. You know, you don't look so hot. Majestic. We'll never give up the struggle to resist you alien freaks. Struggle's over, babe. Furon's won. Human Zipperoni. You think you won? You think America is the only human civilization on Earth? That's what all the Americans seem to think. At least the ones I scanned. Smug little insect. There are three billion people on this planet. And everywhere there are humans, there is Majestic. Sorry, doll face. Without you, Majestic's just a bunch of dudes in crappy black suits. Majestic. MJ. Twelve. The Twelve. All over. All over the world. Attention, humans. I am Cryptosporidium of the planet Furon. This planet is now a territory of the Furon Empire. 
Resist this. Well, that was uncalled for, but okay. Mission successful. I, I knew that was going to happen. Like, oh, 32,000. Holy crap. Okay, then. But I knew that was going to happen. As soon as I saw a new stream of this game, just doing a final boss, boom, it was going to... I was going to get it pretty soon. I had... Granted, I lost once, and... I'm telling you, at the end there, I'm like, I am just going to go all out. Because I was scared there. Like, I was... I had a chance, like, to die there. But I'm like, nope, let's not do that. And, uh... Well, we did it. Yay. I guess true, we always had d double dap, but, you know, still. President found alive! A U.S. government fights off Kami invaders on home soil. Giant lizard seen off the coast of Japan. Space fighter X-12 mobilized in response. <laughs> Alrighty then. Good evening, my fellow Americans. In recent days, rumors have run rampant of flying saucers, alien invaders from other worlds, indeed, of my own demise. I'm speaking to you tonight to put these rumors to rest. The truth is, America has been attacked, not by little green men, but red. And our invaders are most definitely of this earth. Despite the efforts of this administration, our nation has been infiltrated by communists, godless deviants who hate us for our freedom-loving way of life. Their conspiracy, details of which are only now coming to light, included drugging our water supplies and controlling our media via mind control. The result was mass hysteria. A national delusion which provided them the cover they needed to execute their fearful scheme. But your military and intelligence agencies fought back. And I'm proud to report that once again, America has emerged victorious. However, the price is dear. At this moment, millions of Americans are working hard and playing by the rules. Unaware of the lingering toxic pollutants in their minds. To combat this lingering menace, we have set up testing centers across the nation, at shopping malls, local schools, even churches. The test is simple and painless. Why, our family had it just this morning, and I'm back at work. Doris is in the kitchen baking brownies, and little Billy's out playing tag in the rose garden right now. It's completely safe. So, trust your government. Trust your president. Freedom is on the march, my friends. Good night, and God bless America. Step inside, citizen. You sure this thing is safe? Step inside, citizen. Jeez Louise. I don't know. Hey, buddy, you heard the president. If it's good enough for him, it's good enough for us. Yeah! Yeah! Yeah. Well, I guess a test couldn't hurt. in a barrel. And so, the world breathes a sigh of relief. The threat of alien invasion proved a false alarm. As for those who scan the skies for a real visit from outer space, they may be in for a 
very long wait. Perhaps the lesson is that we should turn our gaze inward, remembering that man's worst enemy is often himself. Question mark? Either way, that, ladies and gentlemen, has been destroy all humans, and may Vladimir rest in peace. Yes, this game was pretty fun. I mean, for the some for some of the trouble I had with it, and that mainly just came from the boss fights. It was still really fun, and once again, thank you to THQ for. Supplying the code for me to play this and sharing my experience with you guys. I hope you all enjoyed it uh, But yeah overall thoughts and opinions about this game as I mentioned for what it is It's dumb stupid fun It's like it takes me back to those games during this generation for the ps2 Xbox GameCube GameCube where I don't know it just felt I I'm not really sure how to describe it, but it was one of those things where you can just sit back, relax, turn off your brain, and have mindless fun, destruction, funny things happening. That's the way I look at it. Like, games like this and Spongebob, or I, I'm, I'm thinking back to, like, you know, Mercenaries, or maybe, like, like the, the Just Cause series. It's just one of those things where it's just, like, alright, let's play this for a little bit, have fun, and that's that. And for a remake... This game's pretty damn well. I mean, pretty damn well designed. Uh, it's pretty much a one to one, -to -one clone. Uh, besides, like, the new additions, like the skins, and I think some of the challenges, I'm not really sure, but uh, it's pretty nice. And I think for the price, too, because, like, this is brand new for $30, it's not bad whatsoever. I think people would definitely would have complained if it was $60. Which, well, if we think back, I mean, when this game was brand new for, in 2005, I'm pretty sure it was, like, $50. Because that's how much games were back then. Although it's kind of weird, because even back, even like during the Nintendo and Super Nintendo, like, I think games back then were, like, 70 So it's like, think about inflation, like, holy crap. But yeah, um, this is fun. I, I enjoyed it. It does make me wonder if they do plan on remaking Destroy All Humans 2, which I had never played. Uh, now that I think about it, yeah, it is kind of interesting how this one takes place only on America, so American soil, and then... The idea for the sequel is like, okay, well, now we got to conquer the entire Earth. And then maybe if they ever make a brand, brand new one, if they make a third one, they got to take, take care of the whole galaxy or something. <laughs> Who knows? And welcome back, Justin. Yep, I beat it. It took me uh, two tries, and uh, I beat it. So, I, I knew this was going to happen. Now it's like, well, crap. It's going to be a short video <laughs> just for the finale, but so be it. And now i got to wonder, it's like, well, what do I do now? Like, should I just play more Ghost of Tsushima? Should I just end the stream? I, I'm actually a little unsure. Be a samurai. I might do that. I'll see how I feel. Or maybe I'll do some, like, like a random thing. There was a third one called Path of the Theron? Really? I did not know that. Let me, let me look that up. I'm surprised I missed out on that. And I know this wasn't a 100% run. I was thinking it was going to be that, but then it's like... Eh... So let's see here. So yeah, there's Destroy All Humans. Destroy All Humans 2. 
Get this, there's also one called Destroy All Humans Big Willy Unleashed. I didn't know they had more than two games. Yeah, well, Big Willy Unleashed is the third installment and it's only for the Wii. And they were going to have a PS2 and PSP version, but they canceled it, so... Interesting. Huh. So there's that, and then there's also the one you mentioned, uh, Destroy All Humans, uh, Path of Furon. Whoa! It was also, it was developed for the 360 and PS3. I did not know that whatsoever. Huh. So there's been four games in the series. I thought there was literally just two. So that's what happens when you don't name your tight no, don't name them after uh, numbers. Then I get mixed up. Yeah, it's been like eleven years since um, Path of Furon came out. What was odd? It only came out in the 360 here in the States. And they came out for the PS3 in Europe and Australia. So we never got a PS3 version over here. I'm sure maybe you could have exported it, but whatever. Or imported. it. So... Okay. So it's Destroy All Humans. Destroy All Humans 2. Big Willy's Revenge or something. And Path of the Furon. Okay, then. So now it does make me wonder if they're planning on remaking the others. Or they're, they're probably seeing how well this game does before saying, okay, let's spend money and the time to do the others. So, okay, then. You're getting far off your island and close to finishing your song. Nice, Jaden. You're gonna break soon for lunch. Nice. Yeah, it is like uh, it's getting close to lunchtime. So, well, like around eleven fifteen my time. So, yeah. If you guys haven't eaten or anything like that, I suggest you do so. Ooh, here's some news. Hyperscape, that battle royale game, I think. Is coming to the PS4 and Xbox One on August 11th. Haven't really heard much about it myself, but then again, I don't really seek out information regarding those um, battle royale, MMO, whatever. Not really, not really MMO, but you get the idea. But let's also see what other gaming news here, because I like leaving the credits going for the hell of it. But let's see what other gaming news is going on here. Um, so here's like a little warning coming from CD Projekt Red. If you guys know the developers of uh, Cyberpunk 2077. Apparently, there's been emails going around recently claiming that, oh, you may be granting, uh, you may be granted beta access to Cyberpunk 2077. That is a scam. Do not click any of the links. Don't do anything. Uh, so be careful about that. If you guys get any weird emails like that, it's a scam. Don't click it. That's just a little warning from the developers of the game. Uh, the Microsoft Flight Simulator is going to be launching August 18th. Well, it's a lot sooner than I thought. I never really got into those flight simulator games, but they're really making it seem like this one is going to be insane. I think I'll, I might I might actually like seeing people play it because I'm I'm well, we'll see. Richard Stephen Horvitz Horvitz is that how you say his name Horvitz? Man. I'm saying his name all wrong. Eh, D, D. Bradley Baker, chicken and a cow. <laughs> I 
There's a new ROM hack for Ocarina of Time called Zelda, the Master of Time. Apparently, brand new game, eight dungeons, new overworld. If you guys like Zelda and ROM hacks, here you go. Let's see. Oh, the new DLC came out for Neo 2. The Tengu's Disciple. Alright. Lots of good stuff happening here. I am not green. Yeah, I don't know why the hell they kept saying green. It's like, yeah, I agree with crypto there. It's like all, all these people are freaking colorblind, but so be it. Did you want a saucer upgrade or something a little more personal? Mm. Mm. Well, does it really matter that I should I upgrade these? I don't even know what the hell I would put on. Might as well just go crazy. Just grab whatever I can. Almost upgraded him all the way. Just the dash is left. Hmm. So, I mean, there's not many upgrades left, but if you so desire, you, could, you guys could do that. So there's 22 missions in all. Game goes the game still goes by pretty quick in my opinion. Just missing two. No wait a minute. I thought I was missing a Yeah, there it is. I'm missing three uh three things <laughs> to 100% at least the missions. Destroy a building of a majestic agent which I still am unsure how to do. Killing soldiers with grenades. That one, it's like, that one was a little bit difficult because, uh, the grenades only came, from what I understand, from those big guys in the, in the machines. I'm not really sure if the soldiers actually, actually threw them. And I have no idea how to activate these damn Tesla coils, but whatever. There is a lot of replayability here. There, there is, and I like that. Uh, so, I mean, you guys are free to, you know, play this game numerous times. There's a bunch of challenges, so... But frankly, I'm good with what we have, and that's that. You, you know what? I, I do love these um, title cards, or whatever the hell I want to call them. Uh, artwork. Because every single one parodies some type of movie or like a referencing to a classic show or movie. Like, that's Jurassic Park. That, I actually didn't realize, that is a... What was it, the Body Snatchers movie? With Donald, Donald Sutherland? It's like, damn, I think the movie's like from the 70s? It's really damn good, if you guys haven't seen it. But that's what well, that's parodying. Some of these other ones I'm a little unsure of. I was like, maybe that could be sort of like a reference to Dr. or Goldfinger or Godfather. Uh, but all these, South by Southwest, like North by Northwest. But, yeah. Dr. Strange Love. One of the James Bond movies. Mr. Smith Goes to Washington. I like this. Anyway. But, uh, yeah, I guess that's been Destroy All Humans. And like I said, there's so much more you can do. There's a bunch of collectibles, which I think if you get grab one, it gives you like 100 DNA, I want to say so. There's the Armageddon, ab Abduction, Race, Rampage modes. Um. So, yeah. I guess that's that. I would show them off, but it's like, it is what it is. Like, literally, race is a race. 
Rampage, you just go crazy. Abduction, like a little beam comes and you're throwing cows into it. And Armageddon, actually, I'm a little unsure what that does. I thought it was more like Rampage. Whatever. But, you know, I guess it's an incentive for you guys to pick it up the game for yourselves. Like I said, it's not very expensive whatsoever. $30, and for what you're getting for it, it's a damn good deal. Goldfinger was the Bob movie. Okay, perfect. All right. Well, um, I guess we'll go ahead and just take a quick break. And I got to figure out what the hell I'll do next. I might play Ghost of Tsushima. I might do something else. I'll think about it, but let's all first take a nice little break, come back in like five minutes, and uh, take things from there. And for those watching on YouTube or the VODs, thank you so much for putting up with me regarding this game. I definitely do appreciate it. 